Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life, and this is part two to the Verizon versus AT&T LTE speed testing. This is the Verizon part, so here we go. As you will notice throughout the video, the signal will go from two to three bars. With AT&T, it stayed at two bars. Verizon, it tends to go up to four sometimes, but it's very rare. So as you can see, Verizon is still okay on the speeds, but AT&T does hold up a lot better. And it's faster, much faster. Also, if you have AT&T, let me know in the comment section down below how your speeds are. I do see a lot of speeds getting faster and faster for, for AT&T users. They're also starting to match Verizon in a lot of markets in terms of these uh, third-party testing firms. So Verizon is very quietly making a lot of upgrades and a lot of changes to the network. So that's really good to see them doing that. And a lot of in a lot of areas, I want to say AT&T is behind in LTE coverage by about 20 to 25 percent. So certain areas, AT&T still covers as well, but those are only covered by HSPA Plus, where Verizon has those areas covered with LTE. But I think AT&T has a very good shot at covering those areas in LTE as well. AT&T spends about five billion less on capital investment than Verizon, but AT&T can easily make that a priority and fill in those with LTE. So I don't see an issue there, so I wouldn't be worried about that. But coverage is still there with HSPA Plus, so that's also good to see. It's gonna be it's gonna be a neck and neck race going into the mid part of the year and then towards the end of the year. Now as you can see Verizon is not as fast as AT&T inside my apartment, but they still have a solid, this is still usable speed, but it's just during peak times, like around the 5, 6 o'clock is where it gets really slow. But other than that, it does hold its own. And that's where AT&T is a lot better because you can see that they have more capacity on the site. So even when those peak times come in, the speeds will just slow down a tad bit, not as slow as Verizon when they get below one megabit on the speeds. But as you can see right now, you know, solid speeds, not too bad, just not as fast as AT&T. And also I will let you guys know the minute that eight, I mean, Verizon adds more spectrum to the tower sites and they open up the third channel carry aggregation. I will let you guys know, and then we can see the uh, speed improvements on that as well. And also, when they add the new 4G LTE tower in my home area. Alrighty, so as you can see, not as fast, actually not anywhere close to AT&T on the speeds, but these speeds are still very usable. So definitely stay tuned. I will have some more testing coming, um, coming up in a few days, so stay tuned for that. And give these videos a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated, keeps me going. Like, share, subscribe. This is Tyron with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.